Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus iPhone 7 Plus speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the iPhone 7 Plus speed test. Now these are the two best of the best from the two top manufacturers in terms of sales around the US and pretty much around the world here. So we're just going to do a speed test here and uh, we're going to begin with the boot up test. So three, two, and one. And you should see Samsung logo shows first, now the Apple logo. So what are we working with here? We're working with a Snapdragon 835 CPU with four gigs of RAM, Apple A10 quad core fusion chip with two gigabytes of RAM. Now I do think that the iPhone 7 Plus is gonna win it here on the boot up test, but we might be shocked. No, the Galaxy S8 Plus takes it there for the win on the boot up test. Now that's pretty strange because I'd never see Samsung devices usually beat Apple in boot up tests. So Sammy boy gets the win to start. All right, so for both of these devices, my Samsung Galaxy S8 and pretty much anyone who gets it right now, it ships with Android 7.0 Nougat at launch and the iPhone 7 Plus right here that I have does run iOS version 10.3.1. That's the latest official version that you can download for iPhone. So let me just go ahead and confirm that really quickly here for the Apple iPhone 7 Plus. You can see iOS 10.3.1. All right, so before we go any further with this test, I do want to put the Galaxy S8 in high performance mode. So I'm just going to turn on high performance. And I know that knocks the resolution up to, you know, the QHD resolution. But if the iPhone 7 Plus runs at its peak speeds, its peak resolution, why not put the S8 at its peak power, its peak resolution? I know some people might say, well, put it at 1080p. But Samsung actually has it a little bit slower at 1080p to save on battery life here. So I do have the same applications lined up. Let me go ahead and close everything out. I was testing these a little bit before I went ahead and did this video. But let's begin with Facebook. And you should see the iPhone 7 Plus is first there. Coming home here, look like the 7 Plus back home as well. Let's go into Instagram. And you can see S8 Plus there for Instagram. Coming home here, let's go into Spotify. And you can see iPhone 7 Plus again. Coming home here, iPhone 7 Plus back home first. Let's go into Amazon. And the 7 Plus looks like to take that one. Let's come home there. Let's go into Uber. And you can see we got a little pop-up ad there. So let's run that one one more time there for the S8 coming home here. Let's go to Uber on both devices. S8 Plus coming home here. Let's go into WeChat. S8 Plus wins that one. Coming home here. Let's go into eBay. I'm going to give that one to the iPhone 7 Plus. So typically the iPhone 7 Plus is still going to be quicker in some areas due to its application optimization. It's, some apps are just better optimized for iOS. Going into Wikipedia, it doesn't really matter how much power you throw into an Android phone. Some apps are just better optimized for the hardware. So let's go into Play Newsstand. And you can see it looks like that was about even, but I give it slightly to the 7 Plus. Coming home here. With Appy Geek or a Pi Geek in both devices, and you could see it looks like the 7 Plus won that one there. So we got a bunch of pop ups here for the S8, and let's run that one more time. And you could see the S8 holds it well. Let's go into YouTube, and you could see YouTube does win there for the S8 Plus. So let's go into Twitter here on both devices. And it looks like the S8 Plus is ahead there. So you can see they are trading blows for applications. One time the 7 Plus is faster, sometimes the S8 Plus is faster. Let's go into Best Buy. So this just goes to show here that the iPhone 7 Plus and the S8 Plus are very competitive. And even though, you know, Samsung is definitely ahead here in terms of hardware innovation, in terms of the screen, we know it's ahead of the iPhone here. Most would agree this. This is an opinion, but most would agree the S8 is ahead in hardware. The software is still competitive here for the 7 Plus, meaning that I, Apple can expect to still sell. So a good amount of 7 Plus is going forward here in the rest of 2017. Let's go to Drippler. And you can see Galaxy S8, maybe? Yes, Galaxy S8 takes the 7 Plus. So the Galaxy S8 is performing very well here versus its counterpart, the iPhone 7 Plus. So it looked like the 7 Plus took it there on Geekbench. Let's come home here. Let's go into speed test. 
and you can see speed test opens there first for the 7 plus let's go into dead trigger now here is a couple of games here and you can see does this android have the power wow that was pretty close there honestly let's hit play that was pretty close for gaming pretty nice to see there from an android device and the S8 slightly ahead of the iPhone. I never see this on Android phones actually keeping up with iPhones in gaming. Let's go to Champion. Adreno 560 here for the Galaxy S8 Plus on the GPU. And the iPhone looks to have low debt first. Let's see though. Yep, the iPhone 7 Plus is ahead here on this application. And you should see you're ready to go in the 7 Plus. We're still logging in there for the Galaxy S8 Plus and it was it failed to log in so there was a failure there for the Galaxy S8 Plus but we're gonna go ahead and try Jetpack Joy right here for both devices and you could see iPhone 7 Plus slightly ahead so gamers rejoice the Galaxy S8 is gonna be a solid gaming smartphone let's go into Temple Run and you could see about the same now I'd give it slightly to the S8 Plus coming home here let's try the camera now and you can see both pretty much on par in terms of the camera. Coming home here, let's go into calendar. And Galaxy S8 Plus on the calendar. All right guys, so here is the story of this video. Does the Galaxy S8 Plus keep up with the 7 Plus in multitasking? Let's go through all these apps one more time. Facebook, nope, reload there to get it started with the S8 Plus. Instagram, slight reload there on the S8 Plus. Spotify, and the 7 Plus ahead again. Amazon, 7 Plus ahead again. Uber, a little bit of a delay there in comparison. WeChat, so you're ready to go here and the S8 Plus is not ready to go. Let's go into eBay. Missed that one on the 7 Plus. Let's do that one more time. Let's go to eBay. And you can see slightly ahead there for the 7 Plus. Wikipedia, slightly ahead again. And it looks like it's gonna be the same story across these applications. The S8 Plus is holding them quite well, but it looks like they're just ready to go quicker for the 7 Plus. YouTube, again the 7 Plus. Let's go into Twitter. Again the 7 Plus. So the 7 Plus just came back swinging. Best Buy. So for those of you owning a 7 Plus and you're looking at this video, you still have one of the fastest, if not the fastest smartphone on the planet. Let's go to Geekbench here. Come out of there. Let's go into Speed Test. And 7 Plus again. Come out of there. Let's go into Dead Trigger. Totally ready to go there for the 7 Plus. Still a great gaming device for the S8 Plus for Android users, but the 7 Plus has got the S8 Plus beat in gaming. Processing power on this A10 Fusion chip combined with the customized version of the GT7600 GPU on the 7 Plus is just incredible. Going into Jetpack Joyride here, you can see 7 Plus ready to go. A reload there for the S8 Plus. Temple Run. And you could see 7 Plus ahead again. I could just hear all the Apple fanboys already. Woo! Give it to me, 7 Plus. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> Over here, we got Calendar on both. And you can go home here, and that's it there for the multitasking. So the multitasking win definitely goes to the 7 Plus. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and run a Geekbench on both of these devices here. Here on the Galaxy S8 Plus. And let's go over here for the CPU. Now I do have the carrier version of the S8 Plus. So this is the Snapdragon series CPU. This is Apple's same A10 across the world. This is not the Exynos S8 Plus. So I'm gonna let these run real quick and I'll be right back when they're done. So the scores are in for the Apple iPhone 7 Plus. They got a single core score of 3517 and a multi-core score of 59. 58 now the galaxy s8 plus is now finishing up the 7 plus has been finished for a couple of minutes now so the s8 plus takes a lot longer to do a geekbench score and it's pretty much been like this forever on android it takes longer to do geek benches but you can see the galaxy s8 plus outscores it in the multi-core score but it just gets destroyed in the single core score by the iphone 7 plus so it's kind of funny that in multi-core the you know the Galaxy S8 Plus had a higher score, but in multitasking, the 7 Plus still stomped on the Galaxy S8 Plus. So these scores are just scores. They don't really indicate anything. I think it's just for bragging rights. You know, I got a higher score than your phone. But in the real world, you've seen on single opening apps. So when you first open the app, the Galaxy S8 Plus was faster than the 7 Plus in a lot of ways. It boots up faster than the 7 Plus, and the camera is about the same. It does focus faster than the 7 Plus on the camera. But multitasking is still the winner here for the iPhone 7 Plus.
So let's go ahead and open up a couple of web pages here. Let's go to apple.com on both devices. So apple.com and then we'll go to samsung.com on the Galaxy S8 Plus. So let's hit go in three, two and go. And you can see apple.com Safari is still quicker than Samsung internet. So let's go to samsung.com here, Samsung. I typed in Samsung. Let's go to Samsung.com there. Samsung.com here for iPhone 7 Plus. Let's hit go in three, two, go. And you should see, funny, the iPhone 7 Plus opens its Samsung's website faster than Samsung's own phone there. So yeah, you can see browsing still pretty good on both devices, very smooth on both, faster scrolling as always on Android, smoother scrolling on Safari. Personally, I think Safari is still the king of mobile web browsing. That's my experience, but Samsung's experience here for their internet is definitely gonna please pretty much everyone on the planet as well. So that pretty much wraps the speed test up of the Galaxy S8 Plus versus the Apple iPhone 7 Plus. Now, I haven't had the Galaxy S8 Plus long enough to do a full comparison between these two and that is coming to the channel so you might want to subscribe for that but I did have enough time with both of them to do a speed test here and you've seen which one won here there ain't really a clear winner here in my opinion I think they both trade blows in different areas and they're about even in terms of performance now if you want the top level gaming phone it's definitely the iPhone if you want a you know the best hardware on any smartphone right now I think that's the Galaxy S8 Plus hands down and definitely the phone that is overtaking my iPhone 7 Plus as my daily driver. So yeah, that wraps it up here for me. Any questions, comments, concerns, video suggestions you want to see on the Galaxy S8 Plus or the iPhone 7 Plus, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. We have the whole series on the Galaxy S8 Plus that we're building right now, so you might want to see that, so stay around and I'll catch you all in the next one. Be sure to be well and peace.